ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Sorry, internet. I'm currently watching So You Think You Can Dance and along playing Viggle on my cell phone. If you don't know what Viggle is, go download it. You get points for watching TV and then you get rewards like gift cards to use at your favorite establishments. It's it's great. Go check it out. So if you hear a little bing when it's happening, uh, that's me just having playing the game. Trivia. So if I get interrupted, I'm sorry. But today I will be doing a Mac haul. Um, so like last week or so, me and my friend Liz went to Mac and splurged a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I haven't been to Mac in a really long time just because I haven't had that much money to spend there even though I, ugh, I spent way too much and I like kick myself every time I think about it or I look at the receipt. But I'm sure it could have been a lot worse if my, the lady who was helping us out, Brooke, who was awesome, um, she could have pushed a lot more stuff on me but I, hold on. Sorry. Um, so Brooke was awesome and I could have totally bought so much more stuff, but I had some self-control and I, I, I reeled it in and it's got the stuff that I knew that I needed. So without any further ado, um, let's begin with my Mac haul. First thing I got, um, is the Mac brush cleaner. I've used brush cleaners from Ulta drugstores and they never work well. So this is the MAC brush cleaner. It's not super expensive, but you get a whole lot in it. And Brooke, the lady who was helping me out, uh, gave me a little tidbit. She said, pour this in a little spray bottle and then mix it with just like this much water and it lasts you like twice the size. So you can just do something like this. Um, it's probably like two thirds brush cleaner, one third water, and it lasts so much longer and you still get the good results of an actual brush cleaner. So I do really recommend getting the MAC brush cleaner splurge on it because it's going to make your brushes last that much longer. Um, so that was the main thing that I, that I knew I had to get. So again, that's the MAC brush cleaner. Next, I am obsessed with the MAC Mineral Foundation, Mineralized Foundation. Um, I'm not a big fan for powder foundations or anything, and I like more of a, like a cream. Um, and their cream is really good. Um, as you can see, it's still on open. I haven't used it, but I'll open it to show you. I'm a color NW20, um, but if you go there and you're not really sure what color you are, they're really good about fitting you for... Um, for a, they, they call it a color fit um, and they kind of just use whatever whatever is good for um, them for for you sorry um, so I know when you, once you go there you get in the system and they kind of keep track of what you use and what you buy so if you forget a color that you bought or you forget um, what you need and you know that you've bought it in the past, they can just look you up in the system and tell you what you want or what you need. So I'm going to open up my packet and just show you what the color is and how it looks on the skin. Um, this is what it looks like here. Sorry if the mirror is shining you in the face. Um, this is the color. It's just a, it's really creamy, but it's, it's pretty full coverage, which I, which I like. I don't really have that bad of problem skin but I'm just really self-conscious about like my redness and blemishes so I do like a more full coverage um, it does come with a sponge um, it kind of dries out though so I do prefer the brushes um, but um whatever you like go for it so again that was the Mac mineralized foundation in NW20 Going along the same lines of the foundation, I got the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Um, it's a powder that you put over the whole face after, after you put on your foundation and stuff. This is in the color Light Plus. Again, they color matched it to me. Um, 
to my skin tone. They have so many different colors. So if you're one of those persons who's like, I don't know what color I am. I, I can't get one thing. This doesn't work. And I have to mix this. Go to MAC splurge a little bit because you're getting a great product that's going to work for you. Um, this is a powder, but it's minerals, um, so it's good for your skin. It's not going to feel heavy. It's really light, so it's not too overwhelming on your face. Um, this is what it looks like. It's matte. They do have some that do have a little shimmer in it, so if you want like a bronzer, they have that. I'm not a big bronzer person, um, but if you are, they have that. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's really light. See, you can't really even see it. But um, a little bit goes a long way. So if you think this isn't a lot, this will last you a good few months depending on how much you use and when you use it. Um, I don't use MAC products all that often. Um, I only use them on, like, if I have a wedding or an interview or something is when I do my makeup well or I'm going out. Otherwise, I just use drugstore brands because I don't want to waste my good stuff on, you know, going to get the groceries or something. So again, that is the Mineralized Skin Finish um, Natural in light pink. Next, I got the MAC Prep and Prime Fortified Skin Enhancer in SPF 35 in the color um, Neutralize. This is more of like a color corrector, um, redness canceling. Instead of the green tint that some people get to cancel the red, this is more of a yellow. Um, it really works as a good primer, um, which the, the consultant Brooke helped me find out. That's what it looks like. You can't really even see it. When you rub it in, um, it really... It really neutralizes the whole face, which is what it is used for, and it just really, as you said, preps and primes your face for the rest of your look. Um, and it really does cancel out any redness or blemishes that you do have, even though it is that yellowish color, it really does go a long way. I've never used this before, but she put it on me and it really did cancel out a lot of the redness that I have in like my cheek and like mouth area, which I really liked. Um, so that is the Prep and Prime Fortified Skin Enhancer SPF in Neutralize. They have this flavor, flavor, in um, different colors too. They have it in the green and other colors. So if you need it for some other reason, you can get it for that. Next, I got the Fast Response Eye Cream. I'm obsessed with this eye cream. A few months ago, I had really bad dry skin around my eyes, and I tried everything from the drugstore for it to work, and nothing worked as well as this does. I use this every day and it really does make my eyes a lot brighter and more like soft. It, I don't feel like I'm itching them as much. Um, it comes in a really small container but no lie this little container has lasted me longer than a year. I just finished up one from like two Christmases ago. You just use a little bit put on your fingers and just rub it around your eyes. Um, so if you have any eye issues and they're really dry I really suggest on getting the eye cream from MAC. Um, and then finally, I got a new eyeliner brush. It is brush number 210 from MAC. It's like the skinniest one they have. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, but I have a real issue putting on um, liquid, liquid liner on my top lid. And Brooke, the consultant, who was awesome, really taught me a cool way to do it. Um, but she definitely used this brush and it is really cool. So that is all the stuff I got from MAC. Um, I'm going to definitely try out the Prep and Prime and let you know how I like it. Um, but that's all the stuff I got from MAC. If you guys get stuff from MAC, um, let me know. If you have questions about the products I got, leave me comments down below and I will get back to you. Until next time, guys. Bye!